And welcome to our final Friday's Feature Creature segment of the season because the zoo is, of course, winding down as we head closer to winter. Joining us today is Emily Smicker with the Erie Zoo. Pleasure to have you today, Emily. Thanks Thank for joining you. us. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, we also have Darren. Yes. Uh, you can't hold the scorpion today. Uh, no, not so, yet. <laughs> so Darren was good enough to come along with us, and he's going to hold uh, our Feature Creature today. Tell us about yeah, the scorpion. Yeah, I thought I'd stick with the Halloween season and yeah. bring in one of our creepy crawlies. Um, so this is an empire. Uh, Emperor Black Scorpion. Um, it is a female. So these scorpions are actually the largest species of scorpions. Mm -hmm. They can reach up to eight inches long, which She's is big. pretty wild. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they are um, primarily found in the uh, tropical forest is, mm -hmm. uh, forests. Forests can't talk today <laughs> and uh, savannas of, in Africa but scorpions in general are really actually adaptable and, and are found all over the world except in Antarctica interesting I just heard somebody talking about a friend that they knew that was in Tennessee and they shook a scorpion out of their sweatshirt and we're, we're talking about how we didn't realize that they were in places like you know Tennessee so, yeah but. you got to keep an eye out they are found throughout the United States these guys particularly are the ones found in Africa yeah. um, but usually the smaller they are the more dangerous she really is a beauty I mean she's so large that you can really see the detail yes. um, on her legs and pinchers and of course you've got the the scorpion or the stinger on the back tail they're stingers which is actually a very important um, survival mechanism for them they do not see very well and they're mm -hmm. also very slow they're nocturnal um, and even though those big pinchers look scary, the, the scary part is in that um, stinger there. And they can actually move that stinger in every direction except for backwards. Okay. So that really assists in them um, being able to... And the stinger has poison yes, in it? Yes, it does have venom and that's how they paralyze their prey. Right. Um, now for us, someone like, like this scorpion here, that would be more of like a bee sting. Uh -huh. um, because the larger they are, a little less harmless to uh, humans. If, it's a, if you get stung by a small, uh, small scorpion that has small pinchers, then you got to worry. Oh, really? Yes. So it's the bigger ones that are less potent. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. It's the little things that count, right? <laughs> Big things come in little packages. Uh, so let's talk about Zubu because uh, we're coming down to the end of that. Tonight's the final night, and then tomorrow again from what noon to nine. Yes. All day tomorrow, and then it's done for the season. Done. We've got some video of Zubu from this year, I believe. Oh, it has been wonderful having everyone back on the ground and enjoying it. It's just fantastic. You've had big crowds. Of course, last night was uh, big crowds because the weather was so terrific. Yeah. Um, you know, tonight, who knows what you're going to get, but right. tomorrow you, you could have another big a big crowd to celebrate the end of the season. <laughs> this is my favorite oh, video that we, <laughs> we've been running with the girls. Oh, yeah. I mean, we're there. Zubu's going to go on. Rain or shine. So right. if you want to get in that uh, little extra special trick-or-treating time, uh, right before Halloween, yeah, tonight 6 to 9, and then tomorrow from 12 to 9. And what do folks need to know if they want to come up? Do they have to get their tickets online? Like they, they do not earlier? have to. Um, if we recommend it, it helps us plan a little bit easier mm -hmm. for uh, crowds and for candy, of yes. course. Um, so you can buy your tickets up to a day before visiting mm -hmm. um, or you can buy them at the gate for just a couple dollars more yeah but it does give you an idea of how many kids to expect yes. especially with the candy that's terrific and we thank you so much for stopping in we do appreciate it and we love our Friday feature creature segment but as I said this is going to be the last one for the season yeah. but we'll see you when the zoo reopens in the spring which is right about when about early March we usually yeah. try to aim around March 1st uh, depending on how the weekends fall yeah and of course with the COVID protocols hopefully we will be through the worst of that pandemic right. and so we should uh, be a little bit more able to bring some different animals. I know yes. it was it was uh, insects and birds, I believe, reptiles. Mm -hmm. that right we now, a lot of right our now. mammals are restricted, but right. um, we're working on that. And hopefully, hopefully next spring we'll be able to bring a lot more in and show a lot more people different things. And there'll be some new elements being added to the zoo in the spring. Good, so. can't wait to it. We look forward to that and enjoy your winter season, Darren. Thank you for stopping in today and and holding the scorpion for us.